Hey everybody, I have a new um, item for you today. I'm not going to call it a coloring book. It's coloring cards. Coloring Christmas cards to be um, specific. This came in the mail to me and I am very, very excited to show it to you. It comes like a little booklet. It's hardbound. It's called Create Your Own handmade Christmas cards. There's 30 cards and 30 envelopes including five pop-out ornaments. There's the cover. Five of them have an ornament like this that you can pop out and hang on your tree. This is what the back looks like and this was created the art by Caitlin Keegan. Let me show you how it works. Alright, <clears throat> when you open it up Okay, on the left side, you're going to see all these really pretty envelopes. They're all the same. You can color um, the little border where you address it. And there's 30 of them here. And then on this side is where you have all of the gorgeous um, coloring Christmas cards. They are really, really cute. They're all different. What I like about them is they're not um, super, super intricate. Um, I can You could do these like one every evening and get them ready for Christmas. There's nothing on the inside so you could stamp or write your own sentiment, which is great. Some of them are landscape and some of them are portrait. This one says Merry Christmas. Just beautiful. They're so cute. Um, this one I, I work, started working on. I had to get my gel pens out. I was really excited. You see how, how pretty that is? This didn't take me long at all. Maybe an hour, if that. And I'm just watching TV. Um, it took an hour because I had to wait between layers for the gel pen to dry so I wouldn't smear it. That's the only reason. Otherwise, if you were doing this with pencil, it wouldn't take no time at all. This looks like partridge in a pear tree here. And then you just, um, after you finish coloring it, I'm just going to leave them all in the book until I'm done and then pull them all out and address them as I go. Very, very pretty, very creative. I really like this. The candle. Some holly. The mistletoe. Your kids can do this with you and help you. It's very, very thick cardstock, so, you know, you can use anything you want on these. If you use your alcohol markers and it bleeds through, I would suggest just putting a little piece of um, scrapbook paper or a decorative paper on the back. No problem at all. Cover it right up. Mittens. Hot cocoa. trees and cookies. This is a really, really beautiful Santa on old. It looks like folksy. I really like this one. Got some presents. Merry and bright. I really like this idea. Oh, this is one of the first ornaments. You just color it, and then when they get the uh, the receiver gets the card, they'll just pop it out and put a string on it, and they can hang it on their tree. Here's another one. Isn't that a great little gift? Here's another one. Oh, don't mind the shadow. It's my cat in the window <laughs> blocking all my light. Salem, come here. He's not the same. I love this one. So cute. Like I said, they are very, very easy to color. That way you won't get frustrated and you can just get right to it and get them finished. Another folk art looking reindeer card. Check the halls. Come on. Gingerbread house. Peace on Earth. We definitely need that. 
jingle all the way. More presents. Gift wrap and presents. I love wrapping Christmas presents. I live in New Orleans, so we don't see very much snow. I think I've seen it twice in my life. Stockings. Happy holidays. The last one up for just one or two. We got a little mountain scene with the snow. And then we got like the dove. Isn't that beautiful? The peace dove. We just close. Nope, one more. And that is it. That's the end of the book. Again, this is by uh, Story, and the art is Caitlin Keegan. I will put a link to where you can purchase this down at the bottom. If you have any questions or comments about this, it's really neat because I have never seen this product before. If you have any questions or comments about it, please leave them down at the bottom, and I'll be glad to get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Thanks for watching. Um, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, and I would appreciate it if you subscribe. Thank you. Bye-bye.